All new right now on Wake Up. It's really hot in here because it takes a lot of heat and special compounds to blow glass. We have a demonstration from the Corning Museum of Glass in Corning, New York. And if you think the video looks cool, just wait because Eric Goldschmidt from the museum is here in the studio. And he's so talented, he can actually answer my questions while he's blowing glass here right in the studio. At the end, we're going to have this great new piece of art to show you. So, Eric, how does the process work? You brought in a lot of stuff here, including this whole setup. What does it take to do this? Yes, well, I'm using a process known as flame working. So, just working over a torch that is running off of propane and oxygen. Uh, the flame is a little below 4,000 Fahrenheit right now. If I really crank it up, it'll get up around 4,500 Fahrenheit. So uh, stay away from the flame, in yeah, other words. Yeah, keep your hands out of there and we'll be okay. So uh, I'm creating a, a flower right now. I figure since we're struggling to, to really get into spring, this will be a little bit helpful. And uh, flame working is just one dem an example of one demonstration that we do at the museum. We do live demonstrations of different types of glass working all throughout the day. And it's a very exciting time for us at the Corning Museum of Glass these days. What well, do you start with? Because I see you have your tools here that you're holding the piece in the middle with. What, mm -hmm. what does it begin with besides the flame you have? For this particular piece, I started, the, the bud of the flower starts from a piece of tubing, like what's down by my left hand here. Okay. Uh, that is already colored glass, and it's a hollow tube. So I started with that. That'll, that'll be the, the majority of the petals. But I also created some little stamen from little bits of colored rod glass, so not hollow. Okay, and that's down here in front of you. Yeah, uh, the stamen I actually inserted into that bubble. So okay, we'll start cool. to see that. I'm going to start to open the bud up and uh, then the stamen will already be inside of it as we go here. He's been prepping this for the last, what, has it been an hour yeah. approximately? Because it takes some time to get this where you want it to be. It does. So what you're seeing right now has been in the works for a while. So he, w once you get it hot enough so that it's moldable, I guess, you can, mm -hmm. you can do what you just did, which is blow the glass, correct? That is correct, yeah. If I get it soft enough with the heat, we can do just about anything with this. So a little bit of blowing has helped me to reshape the tube. And also now I've just popped that open just by uh, really blowing it all the way wide open. And I'll, I'll continue to, to widen this out. We'll cut this a little bit, create some petals off of this form here. Yeah, so this is a, an incredibly exciting time for us at the Corning Museum of Glass. We just opened a brand new wing to the museum, our contemporary art and design wing. Uh, we've added 100,000 square feet to the museum. And that includes a 26,000 square foot contemporary art and design gallery, or Great. a series of galleries. Uh, so this is just kind of a sneak peek at what you can see if you go and check out some of those new additions. And yep. Eric's going to continue to work on this for us here. I know you can watch these live demos at the museum. You can even take some classes. So we'll ask him about that and see the finished product when we come back here on News 4 Wake Up.